Hi. Hi. What are you up to? Hi. You think you're going to go in a game, was you? Yeah, I was set up. Yeah, I knew you were. I was just said that. I mean, it's not often I say about a big brother, but. What happened? They did. They did set me up. The task. What happened? Well, they, look, the task. Look, the task. Is they, they, not only did they allow um, Rachel to come in, which is fair enough. What What I said is, okay. what I said is what I said. So, like, I can't go back on that, and I, I won't go back on that. But to allow Nathan to watch at the fucking window while his girlfriend gives me a fucking massage. What do you think? Hmm? Cold? Can mm. <laughs> you believe I'm still fat here? She's still not been in the shower. <laughs> oh my god, it's like the what next... time you going in the shower? <laughs> it's like the next day now. What time are you going in the shower? Hey. What time are you going in the shower? Shortly. As soon as them two take over, I'll probably have one. Well, what time is it? It's at least one now. Well, they're supposed to be on now, then. Yeah. Do you want, are you going in now to bed? Well, no, I'm not going to bed, but... And they, I'm going to smell this piggy and have a shower. I'm not going to bed, but if it's their turn, they need to get the fucking asses out of here. We've done an extra hour. Well, well done. Sorry I weren't here, Steve, for half of that. That's all right. I weren't here for half of it. I was... Andy done it, because I was in the shower and everything. Oh, right. Because I didn't know, but then they turned around and said, look, we've got to start gardening it again, because we've got oh. it here. I'll do a bit of theirs then tomorrow. Well, yeah, so we've done enough. We've done an extra hour. <laughs> but we didn't have to do. Yeah. Is it? to one. Wow. Yeah. My mum's in the same fucking hotel as, as these people. What the fuck am yeah. I supposed to do? Like, I've got my mum out there, but like, I've got... But, like, if someone... So there's always going to be a bit of nigger. He also knows, and you didn't know, that he was her boyfriend. Yeah, but that's so a different that's, si but that's, that's a relevant, simply that, different that's situation, a relevant, John. That's a relevant. Oh, I think though. that is relevant. And I think he's a level-headed, he is a very intelligent guy, and he will understand that. And like I've already said to, uh, I said to Josie, and once they get out, I'll give him a call and... We'll talk to you in a minute. No, it's not about... <laughs> Like, I know for well, a fact. I think he's realised now that he uh, should have held his tongue. Sometimes it takes things like this to happen, though, to make people realise. Um. It's your girlfriend like that, but 
you can't go about talking to people like that and Anybody, not, yeah, exactly. and think you can breathe through your life and and everyone's not going to have a problem with it. Yeah. Anyway. What do they say? If you something to the zone, you get stung. Something what? Do you know something like if you you can't you, just, you just, like. It just goes to show that, though, exactly what I thought. Like, in my brain, I think, like, yeah, Corinne, you, you, I had him right. He will pick on people and, like, not pick because he do not he, he, he gives it out, but he would not give it out to someone that can give it back. No. There you go. Whee! <laughs> I just told Sammy and Molly. He's probably made many people shit themselves in his life. Like, oh, can't say that to John. Oh, can't say that to you know. No, we don't know, do we? Because he's not from here, so we don't know nothing about him. But I reckon he's made people feel like that in this house. I reckon a lot of people would have stood up a lot more and said things, um, but a lot of people have held the tongues. Because I think today, when we when we sat around the table, and he said, oh. That set and nearly had Rachel in tears, and I've said this to her like half the people at that table laughed, oh, and I know idiot. half the people around that table would not have found that funny, but still felt like Just they had to laugh at it. that comment. Yeah, agreed. In in that true? Agreed, yeah. Because I know, like, I don't know whether you laughed or not. If you did, I know you wouldn't have found that funny. But no, people I did not. Feel, I did not find it no. funny. But people did do agree laughed around the mm. table, and I know the majority of people sat around that table would not have found that funny. Yeah, they will not find it funny. I wouldn't think they'd find any funny. I wouldn't even know, if, even if it wasn't Rachel, it was somebody else, I wouldn't find it funny. No, but that's what I mean when people feel intimidated, that, that they have to go along with that. Is it your shift now, Sam? What? Your shift now? Yeah. Can't go to sleep? No, I'm not the box. What a good idea you two have got. No, I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, put your think bed right next to mine. Get fucking camp. Don't go to sleep, will you? No. If I come out here and you fuckers are asleep and that box is gone <laughs> after I've just sat here for fucking three hours in the cold, <laughs> you know what I'm going to do to you, Pat Pot, don't you? <laughs> hey? You know what I'm going to do to you? <laughs> I've cracked your nuts between my fucking leg joints. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? But like what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm in a situation where, okay, they want, like, if I stay here in the next couple of days, I will be. <laughs> because they're going to put me in a situation. <laughs> Because they're going to put me in a situation where I've got to see ex-housemates. We do. We do. We will have to run into each other again. And no doubt, I've seen the show. They will bring people that I've had banter with in the past, or people that people have had banter with in the past, will have to. They will most likely. They'll most likely want him there when I do get evicted. So. Fucking risk like, like ruining situations like that or doing anything stupid like that. I wouldn't want to speak to you and I wouldn't give you the time of day. Yeah, but I wouldn't. But well, I don't think it's bad. as bad as what you as what you think well, it's going to be. I didn't buy it out of proportion. People who have given me information. <laughs> not the sort of person to come out here and shit sir. I've like, got to be honest, I wouldn't worry so much about the Nathan situation. I think that'll be okay. Seriously, I'll get I'll ring him up. You'll be more worried about the public. I, I, I think the other situation is a lot bigger. You know what I mean? If they put that out, were you slating her? And then Nathan stood behind the thing fuming. But see, what's the worst that's going to happen? Good. You get booed when you go out of it. People forget about it as soon as you fucking walk past the front of the stage. No one's not going to say nothing apart from getting booed. Yeah, getting booed is one thing. Getting things thrown at you is another. 
Now, is that what happened, man? 